Hello. Hello. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. These are the things that we do not like so much about Germany. And it's from two different points of view. A, what am I? Taurus. A Taurus. <laughs> and a resident. resident. Okay. And she was a resident as in she lived in a village. village a village okay. for a year, I guess. So I have, my first thing on the list would be snow, which mm -hmm. was also on my like list. But mm -hmm. you, it's, I'm over it. I mean, you know, you have to shovel that stuff up and... And uh, my I don't like snow either. But my that's kids got a day off when it wasn't even a day off because there was like an inch and a half, two inches on the ground, and my car would not go up the hill. And mm -hmm. in a I village, I was I just pulled it back, I just let it roll back down and went right back home. <laughs> so <laughs> that's that. Okay, next thing I like to say, I didn't know if. It's that I don't like it. I might like this eventually if I got more trained at it, more used to it. And it is the trash. Now, we think we like to recycle a lot in the U.S. There's like a whole other level going on over here in Germany. There's four containers, okay? And like one of them you can put paper don't 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 interrupt let me finish because she's got her own take on this one of them's paper another one is plastic and metal just nod your head if that's right aluminum aluminum another one is food stuff that can be decomposed what's that called compost and then there's something called rest mule which means the rest of the stuff so if it doesn't fit in any of those categories it goes in there except for glass. You know why? Because they can take the glass bottles back and get money for them. Which I can't do in Pennsylvania. I'm not done yet. Not done. Now. <laughs> well, there's also a place to put them that you have to carry them yourself, so. So you could do that. Okay. But trust me, you'll probably find somebody that wants to take your glass and get money for it if you don't want to deal with it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just starting to grasp how to, how to sort the stuff out at this point. Because trust me, that sounds that sounds easy what I just said. But when you're sitting, you're in a house and you're eating stuff, and like maybe you got something at McDonald's and it's in a paper wrapper, and then you have a coffee cup and part of it's paper and part of it's plastic, and you don't know how much food on it, it makes it not usable to put into whatever trash department. Which you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like almost like you need a class on the whole thing. So it caused me a slight bit of anxiety. There's some, there was some times where I was like, I'm just gonna put this piece of trash over here and let somebody else <laughs> figure it out because I cannot figure it out. Okay, you go. <laughs> you say what you gotta say well, about the trash. <laughs> well, no, that's true too. I mean, that, all that stuff's true. Um, <laughs> it just sounds funny. Um, but I think the part of the trash that bothered me the most was the pickup because uh, they'll do, so there's four different kinds of trash, is that four? One, yeah. two, three, four, yes. And so they'll pick one or two kinds up this week, and then one next week, and then they'll probably have a holiday, to I mean there's a lot of holidays. So you'll go two to three to four weeks between a type of trash pickup. And so it's piling up? It's piling up, it's piling up in your garage. And then... You go outside, you bring, you bring your stuff outside, especially the plastics. You bring your plastics outside, and then you see all your neighbors have one or two little bags, and you can't even contain yours in the container. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit embarrassing. So that goes back to the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the minimalist. Minimal They're more minimalist They are more here. minimalist. We're more consumers. Americans are consumers. But I think with a lot of things where you can even take the plastic bottles, back like from your your coke bottles or whatever or your water bottles you can take those back and get a deposit and i just put it in recycle so so the next thing is pay toilets paying to use the bathroom there's a lot of it it's very weird to me like public bathrooms um even like at rest stops you have to put money in and go to the bathroom i have to tell you that in the u.s this would not work People would just pee outside, or they'd go under the little turnstile thing. Here, everybody's polite. Oh, let me find my little 
Euro coin to put in there as they're holding their dog waiting to go into the bathroom. Uh, yesterday. <laughs> there was a cute little doggy. So anyway, no, but I, I would say so also, the, or they'd pee outside, and which we did see at a rest stop. We saw a couple people peeing outside. I mean, men, because I mean, women, it's harder have, for women to do. If you don't have any Euro change on you. What are you going to do? You can't pee. No if pee. you got to pee, no you got to pee. pee. No money, no pee. <laughs> yeah, it's odd to me. Cause so you're constantly worrying, do I have them? Because you might think, oh, I'll just carry paper bills with me everywhere. Not if you want to go to the bathroom. You better have some coins on you. You know what I mean? We don't charge you to pee in the U.S. <laughs> just bring, like, some kind of portable toilet in your vehicle. Unless you go to a really posh, <laughs> like, a really posh restaurant in the U.S., they'll have those tip things there. Or sometimes, yeah, sometimes it's somebody will dry your hands and spray your perfume. Hands and 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 give me some lotion, yeah. But no. So first of all, I want to say, if this looks different, it's because we're on a, um, we're on a different uh, camera. That's how we'll phrase it. Yes. Okay, let's go. So next up, I have uh, seclusion. Uh, no one to really Is that the camera? Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. No one to <laughs> seclusion. No one to really talk to uh, while living in the village. Okay. Village. Village. She was in a village. Um, because most people they don't speak uh, English. They speak German, and then yeah, you live. When you're not in the military, you don't get to live on base. So you have to buy something in a village. And they're not very good at helping you find something like, oh, um, this is nearer the more Americans or this or that. So you're kind of on your own. And so I would find that fun. I would find that interesting. Trying out different things. It's a little interesting, but there's seclusion. There's a lot of seclusion mm -hmm. when you don't have a lot of people to talk to or you, you're not doing your normal routine. Well, you did have country. one neighbor that was speaking English. Yeah, but she worked and she I didn't get to hang out with her very often. So that's my next one. Go on. Uh, my next one is closed on Sunday. <laughs> Almost everything. Almost everything is closed on Sunday. And I mean restaurants even. So like say you're on vacation and you want to eat something and it's Sunday. You eat at Burger King. You can eat at Burger <laughs> King and McDonald's, which are packed. Mm -hmm. Everybody's there because nothing else is open. It's, uh, and, and it made it even harder for me because we got, so it's, it was a Sunday, nothing's open. Then Monday's a holiday, but stuff was open. But the second day was the real holiday, Tuesday, which is today. So nothing's open again. Mm -hmm. Yes, and yeah, so I was going to just elaborate, yes, yeah, Sunday and holidays. And when you live here, I mean, you're used to, in the United States, we can go to Walmart day or night. We could go in the <laughs> middle of the night. You but do we want to? Well, so I don't go to Walmart a lot. I don't either. But, but there are grocery like stores that are open, stores. Uh, open 24 hours. You can go to most restaurants till at least midnight, right? A lot of them have well, bars them attached and yeah. they're even later. Yeah. You know, on every day of the week, it's very, there's what, two days a year that we have every, almost, okay, it's not even everything, but most things are closed two days a year, and that's Christmas and Thanksgiving, and they're not even and closed. And now, yeah. now they're like, they're having people buy stuff on Thanksgiving, there's some things open, I mean, there's always been movie theaters open on Christmas, but, yeah, it's getting to be where everything in America is about, what can you buy? Mm hmm so, oh, is it my turn? Well, it's mine. I just added to yours. So, my next thing is uh, the laws here are are they're really different. You know, the they're a little more strict on certain things and that you're not used to. There's different laws with driving. Um, well, give us some examples. Examples is if you get a certain amount of tickets, I think you can't even drive for a while. I think they, you lose your license for a while. Well, you can for do that speeding. in the U.S. Well, like if you get certain number you of can't, points. You can't get caught speeding as easily in the U.S. as you can here. Well, yeah, yeah, tell them what there, happens when you get there caught are cameras speeding. Every, well, you'll, if it's dark out, you'll have a big flash. There'll be a big flash and you know that you got a ticket. And they send it to you and it has a picture of you. So you, you, you can't <laughs> say, that wasn't me because you see your face there all big. Go or if you <gasps> had your finger up your nose. <laughs> or whatever you were doing it's there it's it's there so but there's also 
you know, the fact that, um, so cars have the right of way. So this is seriously, if a car goes around a bend and hits a person or hits a horse, it is the person's fault or the horse's fault because the car has the right of way. And except in very rare, rare, rare places where there's a crosswalk and but I will say that the cars do try to avoid hitting those people they the do animal. but I mean the drivers it happens it happens I, I had a, the lady that came over and would give scout his massages was telling me about um, where her horse is one of the people who has their horse boarded there that happened with them and they were responsible for the whole accident so and that's a lot of money here <laughs> um, Another part of the law is that we have to be insured six million dollars, you know, on our insurance to be over here, which is very pricey. Your car insurance or car insurance? insurance? Car insurance, vehicle they, insurance. They insure their <clears throat> they insure their dogs over here because if your dog damages somebody's property, you have to pay. You're mm -hmm. responsible. Mm -hmm. um, there's there's laws about the dogs. There's weird laws about the dogs. If your dog barks for it's either 10 or 15 minutes is all your dogs allowed to bark or you have to I don't know they can call the police on you the polis eye um, and the quiet hours are a little difficult to get used to for me you know for me it's from 1 to 3 every day and I guess it's so that one in the afternoon yeah so babies can nap or whatever <laughs> I don't know and on Sunday it's from 12 to 3 so you can't, you, like... I didn't know that. Yeah, Andrew couldn't go outside and play basketball. You can't walk your dog. My dogs bark. So, Scout gets all excited that he's going on a walk. And if there's another dog out there, if we walk all the dogs, he's barking because they're getting ahead of him. So, I can't walk my dogs during that time. Andrew can't play basketball because it bounced, the bouncing goes all down the street. Yeah, so... Echoes. The laws are... Some of the laws are a little... Okay strange to me did i mention yet the internet mm. the internet not just the internet but cell phone coverage but we'll get to that in a minute mm. i will put both of those together for mine the internet is like very slow here when you can even get it and like it takes hours to do uploads i don't understand in fact i have a new appreciation for Germans who who make videos and upload them to the internet because it takes it takes hours Okay, so any video that you've seen that we've done while we were here and put up while we were here Took hours to go up one at one place the one video took 14 hours at the other place. It took six I think it was this is something that usually takes <laughs> Maybe 20 minutes from my house when, I, when I'm at home, my husband has to have high-speed internet because he has to be able to work from home sometimes. He's a, he's a software developer, engineer, whatever you want to call it. He's a programmer, basically. Mm. So we're spoiled on the internet over in, in America. That's probably why you see so much American stuff on the internet, because we can get on it's it real easy. easily. Yeah. And the phones... <clears throat> <laughs> I was joking because first of all, okay, you can't always get a you can't always get a phone signal and I don't know what's going on with the cell phone towers. It'll go in, it'll go out. It's weirder than in the US. Um, sometimes I wasn't able to send or receive texts over the cell phone stuff. There were a couple towns in Germany where every every few blocks you'd see a um, you'd see a little booth and on top of it is a T-Mobile symbol. And there's a payphone in there. So it's like T-Mobile saying, we know that your <laughs> phone coverage sucks here. So here's a payphone to use. <laughs> I don't think I got a picture of that, though. But if I did, I will. you will see that. There are a lot of phone booths. Um, the Internet is absolutely horrible. It's worse in different places. So if you're in a bigger city or you know a bigger area where the internet is, it's a little better but uh when we we were in the village mm -hmm. it was ridiculously slow like she i did a video of 
you know, walking around the village. It was maybe five, six minutes It long. wasn't long. It was not long. And she, and I tried to upload. She didn't she's walk like, around the whole village. She's just like, when are, you, when are you going to upload the, <laughs> the video? And I'm like, I've tried. I've tried and tried and tried, and it just won't upload. And in my mind, I'm thinking, she doesn't understand how the internet works. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were thinking that. But, <laughs> but I now, thought, be patient. Now she knows. <laughs> now I know. Yes, and, and the phones, to add to the phone thing, um, the plans here are not as, as expensive as they are in the U.S. So we had... Expensive or expansive? expansive. Okay. So we had, um, we, had, we had a plan where, you know, um, you could have either six or three gigabytes for the whole month. And so what happened was, with Andrew had three, and the rest of us ended up with six. And that's because Dylan was on a different thing by himself. But um, Andrew would use his three up in several days. And, and after our internet got the worst, where I couldn't even watch a video, my end, I would have it gone in six days, my six Your gigs. six gig? Yeah, yeah. so... Yet yeah, they're way behind us as far as internet and cellular goes. Which can be good in some ways because when you're walking around out in public, there's not people looking at their cell phones. No, not it's, constantly. No. You might see one person out of 100 maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm not exaggerating. As opposed to the U.S. where we all walk Where it's around. like most people are like, oh, I wonder what's going on Are there here. people alive? Because I am living I don't, in my I might, virtual I might, world. I might step into the road and get run over because I'm looking at myself. <laughs> That's yeah. not happening here. Okay, so my next one is uh, the Frankfurt Airport. I haven't been to any other airports, but I do not like this airport. It is not, Why it don't is you not like user it? friendly. I don't like it. First of all, the parking is, is a pain in the butt. It took several times going there for me to... It took twice for me to really figure out how to find, how to go to the right place to park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you have to remember exactly where you are and you have to go several floors down. Do we have to do something? No. Okay. You have to, you have to make sure you have your ticket with you because when you're done, you have to pay for your parking at the machine before you go all the floors up to your car. I don't like it. And, um, Especially, so where you wait to go, where you wait to fly, mm -hmm. the lounge. Um, <laughs> if you're going on American, it's horrible. Like, if you're taking American, do not, do not go through security until the last minute. But I'm going on American. What do you mean? Do not go through the security area until you have to because all this is what happens when you get behind the security area for American you have to stand there until about 20 30 minutes before they start boarding and then they'll open the gate area and the gate area is the area where everybody gets to sit mm, that's weird but if you go on a on say you know Lufthansa they have that area open for you yes well I'm gonna be in a wheelchair so well, so I'll yeah, be sitting wherever be I go. Fine, but, but Bob, Bob, yeah, don't Bob might have to stand. Ask them not to put you through security right away. Um, How many minutes before it gets before it's boarding? Do they let 20 it? Twenty to thirty minutes. They open it okay. up. Okay. Yeah, it's right. it's not. I went through. Now the one time I went through, they were so picky at security. I had a guy. I had a guy with a complex, and he was making me pull everything out of my purse and carry on. So I was like, I'm not going back through security again. So I had to stand around until they opened that up. And it doesn't matter. I think I had business class that time. It doesn't matter what class ticket you have. You're not getting in there until they want to open it up. So that is my next one. You go. I'm kind of, I have a weird thing. Oh. That even in the newer buildings, most of the doors open in from the outside instead of out. Uh, in the U.S. <laughs> I new, want to tell. You can tell it in a minute. In the U.S., most buildings, if, if, if they're built after a certain year, the doors to the outside have to open out. And that's so, like, say there's a fire or somebody says there's a bomb or whatever, and you have to run out. If everybody runs up against the door, the, you can't get out. Be, you'll just get smushed. 
because like if it opens in but if it opens out it pushes you right outside you all spill out into the outside but here know that most of them open in so we went <laughs> we got to my hotel the other day and she goes to open the door she goes to pull it out and it doesn't open so she just gives up and starts it's <laughs> just, like she's gonna walk away i just but. stood there and looked at it <laughs> It was a long day. It was like, I, I was said, like, okay. Is, it, is that it? You're not going to try the other way? She said, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> um, that's when you have a long day and you're like, didn't work the first time, so it's not meant to be. <laughs> my, I guess I get the rest of them because oh, I, yeah, I enjoy it here. So I don't enjoy the highway system here. Um, it's not awful. But it's so different from the U.S. that if you... What are the differences? If you miss your exit and you think, oh, I'll just get off at the next exit and correct it. No. No, you won't. Because you're going to... You, you won't. Yeah. Like, unless your GPS is good and gets you through it, forget it. Because And I was here before before gps and i got lost i got lost a few times i was mm -hmm. panic lost okay <laughs> she means when she was in the military before yeah you years get ago. off there's no there's no side what do you call those there's no access, access roads. roads there's no bridge over to come back around and go the right way no no you have to know your way so that's another one well, I could have said this when you were talking about the pay ones, but here's another dislike, and that is the normal German toilets that are in a house. I was <laughs> in a, well, a very um, expensive house. It was not a cheap house, so I was. But she rented, yeah. Yeah. In the village. In the village, and the toilets are made. Most of them are made this way. There's this little area in the front. Oh, jeez. Of I'm telling the truth. I know, but okay. of just a little bit of water, right? And then the whole back is flat, so, like a shelf in there. Yeah, like a shelf. So everything just piles in there, and it's <laughs> it's god awful. Anything that would pile will. <laughs> it stinks. It's god awful. And then you have to clean it every time. And you know, if you have kids, that you're. It's not going to be cleaned every time. So can I, I can I mention some just a side note about sure. the toilet? The one pla one of the places we went where we had to pay to use the toilet at a rest stop. Uh, oh. <laughs> I you know it had a thing where if your hand goes by it flushes. So my toilet flushed before I sat down, and I went to sit down and the toilet seat was turning. It was cleaning because <laughs> it was a self cleaning. Thing goes out and like a thing it. comes down. <laughs> right where the toilet seat is and then the toilet seat kind of goes around under the cleaner and i was trying to sit on it and i just yelled i don't know what's going on it was funny i was in the next one and everybody's laughing everybody in the bathroom was laughing and i mean it was like it was mostly other german people and we're <laughs> i didn't know what was happening because the whole seat moved okay go ahead and it was wet because it was being that was clean a funny sidebar so uh, another huge one for me is the lack of closets. There are no closets. Closets. That's a lot of places in Europe. Yes, but as an American, closets, if you do not have a closet in the house, I'm not buying it. Mm -hmm. And it better be a nice mm -hmm. closet. There's no closets. So the Army provides wall lockers, which is not as comfortable as what we're used to, but... I don't like the lack of They closets. don't give you armoires, they give you lo wall lockers? Wall lockers. What does that look like? It looks it like looks lockers. It looks like fake wood, plywood. Plywood. Uh, it looks like a, something that you open up and has thing, it has a bar across and a shelf on top. It's okay. basic army stuff. Um, I have dryers right in here. She's so spoiled, isn't she? She well, has we, to have a closet. We're all spoiled in America. But I have to have a toilet that doesn't clean itself while I'm trying to sit on it. <laughs> um, I have dryers written down, but uh, we'll just go with washer and dryer. Yeah, and dryer. washer and dryer. I've never in my life had so much wash that I could not catch up on. Because you can't... So the washers and dryers, are they're tiny. Very tiny. Mm -hmm. um, and you can put in maybe two outfits and a few pair of underwear or else it'll never dry. For each dry. cycle. Or else it will never ever ever dry. So you put it in the wash. The washer takes 
two to three times as long as an American one. But a lot of people that live in Europe have these little stands they put out to hang their clothes on. Mm -hmm. And then the dryer, it, yeah, it just collects, it pulls the water out. It's a steam. It doesn't blow heat onto it. It sucks Well, there is out. heat in there. I don't know why everyone keeps saying Well, it's not, and it doesn't, it, it doesn't blow up. dry it or whatever. No, it's, in our it sucks American the water line. out into a thing. Well, the dryer takes, for this small load of wash, it takes it about two hours. Yeah, well, my clothes are still, I have one outfit, and my husband has an outfit, and in there and the jeans were too much for something so the jeans are hanging up somewhere and the yes. dryer's been going for quite a while yes and, and there's so not a lot in there there's one pair of underwear one pair of socks one pair of pants and two shirts yes so i was never uh caught up on laundry unless well at one point she's got a lot of clothing post, i had two there was four people in the house well i mean even by yourself you have a lot of clothing Okay, but you you learn to minimalize. <laughs> you don't you don't kind of change outfits or anything like that. Mm, no, um, the stoves are on my list too. So the ovens. I had an oven. What's wrong with the ovens? I don't think I've used the it, ovens. It, so it's first of all, it's in it's in a different language and it's a different system. There's you don't know. I still haven't figured out if the left side was for broiling or the right side was just for regular heating but anyway nothing ever even if you did it you, you change it from Celsius or Fahrenheit to Celsius and you put it in a normal amount of time like I could never make a meatloaf it always it always shriveled up so I don't like the way it cooks I don't it cooks differently than mm. than ours well, as she was mentioned, gas is very expensive. Gasoline, as in fuel for your vehicle. Gas is petrol. What was it like? One nineteen a, a it liter. It was one thirty a liter for the kind that you liter. regularly use. The one nineteen was for diesel. Not for a gallon, but for a liter. A liter. So that is just. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Leader does not well, equate to gallon in any way. When I got back way. to Texas, the poor kids, because every time I would get gas, I'd knock on the window and I'd say, look, look, look. And I'd be like, what? And I'm like, I only spent $35. I only spent 40 You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's not a dollar. It's a euro. A euro. Euro 31. Sorry. So that's even more than, I'm just pointing out that that's. That's even more than a dollar thirty. It's more, and the amount that you get is less. We don't. It's a liter. I still not really figured out how Germans survive. I think they. Well, there is a lot. There are a lot of bikes on the road, so. That's probably why they're not buying a lot of stuff. They're just buying they the food. <laughs> yeah, they gotta buy their gas to get to work. And finally, I have the lack of malls and chain restaurants, etc. I like malls. I mean, you don't need chain restaurants. You got some nice restaurants. But no, I know. But I like I love Panera. Yeah, you know, Panera's I nice. I love Panera. I don't like to But be there's worried. lots of nice as you pointed out, bakeries here. So you could take some of that bakery bread and come home bakeries, and make a nice sandwich. Bakeries make you big and happy. I don't always want to but be But Panera big. Ha Oh, you is it the soups you miss at Panera? Oh, I love the soups and I love I do too. Yeah. And Jason's well, they got nice belly. soups here though, too. And I like I like American malls cuz you can go in there and one kid needs this, one kid needs that, you need this, you got it all in one little place. I don't like if malls. You, they have little malls here, like outside malls mostly, but you know, th there's there's VAT, value added tax. Value added tax. And if you don't buy your batch of VAT forms, you're paying the value added tax. What and she's talking about is in the military and government contractors, they can get a tax voucher. I don't really know how it works. It's like, do you pay form. part of the tax, or? No, you pay, they charge you for the VAT forms. I think it's like $20 for 5 or 10 or something. It's just a way for the government, to, our government, to make money. But, uh, but it's an agreement because the value-added tax is used, you know, for their governmental things or whatever. So we, why, you know, we don't need to pay. But you don't it. use them every time you buy stuff on the economy, No, do you? because, yeah. it, first of all, it would be a pain in the butt, you know, to go through you you don't just <laughs> if you go to the convenience store and you're like here's my fat yeah form. you don't just go through and not everyone takes it but you don't just go through the cashier line and hand them a vet form they take you to another area you have to finish filling it out it's 
I used it at the vet all the time because, and then, you know, the vet will hold it. They can hold it for like a month or something. And so everything you do gets put on the back oh, okay. for a month. But. And that's uh, all I could think of right now. So. Because we mostly like stuff in Germany. Um, both my lists were about the same size. So. <laughs> I, mo I mostly like stuff in Germany, but I didn't live here. I've only, I've only been here for like a week and a half. Mm. So. Oh, a week and a day. But well, yeah, part of the time I was in France, though. So That's true. Oui, oui. Oui. Yeah. So yeah. should we end this uh, yeah. video? Yeah. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss.